Welcome. Well, usually I do tutorials on uh, programming, but today I'm going to look at a tutorial on how to fix a slow Arduino IDE or even some of the other IDEs. You know, I use a few different IDEs. Now, this isn't a criticism of the Arduino IDE at all. I use uh, version 2 and I've got version 1.8 installed as well. However, I have discovered that after I've been using them uh, quite a period of time, I start to have some problems. And uh, you can get to the point where I was doing one particular job, it was an ESP32 job, and it was taking about 15 minutes to compile each bit of code. It was driving me crazy. So let's have a look at some of the issues with this. Now, I use Windows as my operating system. I'm not going to get into an operating system war here. I need Windows for the stuff that I do, and this machine's just been installed with Windows 11, so I'm having to get used to it. So this is the disks on my computer, and my Arduino stuff is on my drive K. Probably a lot of you don't have that many hard drives, so I don't blame you. But for what I do, it's required. Right, so if we go into my drive K, you can see I've got Arduino 2.3 and Arduino 1.8. I don't install them on my C drive um, for this very reason. It just keeps everything nice and safe. So on the same drive, I've got my Arduino sketches. You notice I've got VS Code on here as well. And in your... Uh, antivirus it's possible to tell it not to look at certain folders there's uh, a way of putting in exemptions now this is quite common so if you play uh, computer games sometimes uh, certain software will actually say to you that it's going to ignore the game folder because these games are huge now and if the antivirus kept scanning all the files that were in the folder your game would slow down so that's what we're doing here very similar thing except we're doing it with our IDE now as I said I've installed this on my K drive my sketches are on the K drive however just putting an exemption for these didn't fix the problem and I'm going to show you why so Windows, even though I've installed the software on my K drive, has a habit of installing files all over the place. And that's what we're going to track down. So going into my C drive and then I'm going to go to users. Uh, we then need the folder info. And in here, we suddenly see that we have a dot Arduino IDE and I've got platform IO and VS code. Now, if you're just using the Arduino IDE, you're just gonna have that one in there. And what you need to do is add an, exem an exemption in your um, antivirus software for this particular folder. Now, there is a problem because even when you've done that, it doesn't fix everything and this again is the one of the irritating bits with Windows it hides stuff annoyingly not only does it hide stuff but it hides stuff right in front of you so here I am you know we're still in the same folder if we now go to view show hidden items lo and behold a little folder appears called app data now if you go into app data and we're going to go first into local and see here we've got Arduino 15 so that needs to be on your list of fi uh, folders that you are going to uh, add an exemption for um, there's a list of these on the Digital Town website so uh, don't panic if you can't keep up right the next one we then go into roaming and again We've got the Arduino IDE. Now, I assume that one of these is probably version 2. One of these will be version 1.8. I have no idea, but they're in there. Again, these are a couple of folders that you just need to add on your exemptions. 
Now, this I'm using, uh, was it, this is the Avast free antivirus. I've used it for donkey's years. You can see that uh, you need to go into your settings and you will find a section called exemptions. And basically you just add an exemption, browse to the path that you want and add it into these exemptions. Now, once you've done this, anything within that folder, the antivirus isn't going to touch it. And guess what? Your system will suddenly start to speed up. I have been amazed at the improvement that I have seen. So, yep, small video uh, today, very short, but hopefully that will help you if you've got any problems with a slow IDE. And if it does, please click the like and subscribe. And of course, if you know any other folders that are hiding around, please let me know in the comments. Bye for now.